I'm considering Venus and Gemini, the first resonance that you should really direct your attention to is the fact that both this planet and the sign are both cooperative. So when a native has Venus and Gemini, we interpret this to mean that they know about cooperation. They're cooperative people. And especially in a Gemini way, which means through words or through mutual compromise, through balance. So you could describe them as negotiative or even mediative, which means they provide the medium between divergent parties or divergent points of view. And you can also use the word ambassadorial to describe this aspect of Venus and Gemini, which means um, diplomatic. The classic astrology texts describe Venus and Gemini as a diplomat. Diplomatic, tactful, political, but political not in a, in a Mars sense where you're aggressive and power hungry, political in the intellectual sense. So where you understand how societies and people work and therefore you, how to deal with them effectively to accomplish your objectives without really a lot of brute force. Another synergy to bring to the fore and discuss is that Venus is a planet of intellect. Now why Venus is a planet of intellect? Because it's femininity. Femininity brings things in. Bringing things in means receptiveness. Receptiveness means being able to listen well, hear well, learn well. So Venus is an intelligent planet and it's a planet for learning. Gemini is an intelligent sign. So it's an air sign that belongs to Mercury. Mercury is the planet of intellect. So having Venus in Gemini indicates a person that's pretty smart. What kind of smart? The type of smart that's like Gemini smart. So in other words, it means they're good with words. They like to read, so they're well read. They like to hear, so they become well versed. They learn a lot of things about a lot of different subjects. That Venus is the planet of arts because it's femininity. Femininity is beauty. Beauty is beautiful things. Art is the creation of beautiful things. So Venus represents arts. Gemini represents talents and dexterity and refinement. So talent and art goes together as a synergy. And as a result, the native who has Venus in Gemini <laughs> um, should be talented. Simple as that. The specific type of the talent would be Gemini in flavor. So they would be very artistically talented with communication, with expression, with words. So this is particularly good with um, art forms that require a lot of talking, such as acting. Art forms that require a lot of communication, dialogue between people, again, such as acting, it can be singing, it can be dance, which is gesture as a language. Another thing to bring to your attention is that Venus is the planet of beauty, obviously, because Venus is femininity, femininity is beauty. And Gemini also has something to do with beauty because it belongs to Mercury, who is the planet of symmetry, which has a huge effect on beauty. So having Venus in Gemini depicts a native who is beautiful. Now, again, what type of beauty? Gemini type of beauty. It's different than an earth sign beauty or a water sign beauty. It's not thick and curvy necessarily, but it's light, refined, delicate beauty. Another thing to bring to your attention is that Venus is actually the planet of wealth. Now, this is because it's the planet of desirable things that equals wealth. Desirable things, beautiful things, beautiful things is beauty. Beauty is femininity. Venus is femininity. So Venus is the planet of wealth, and Gemini isn't necessarily a sign of wealth, but it's a sign of commerce, which is very conducive to wealth. So there's a nice synergy here between the planet of wealth being in the sign of commerce. The result, the interpretation is this native is probably wealthy. Why are they wealthy? Because they're good with buying things. They're good with selling things. They know what people want to buy. They know what people want to sell. They know how to exchange things and make money. Now what we do in these videos with the planets and the signs is I show you a consistent technique that you can use 
for any planet and any sign. And the technique is very simple. You look for where the planet symbolizes something that's very, very similar to what the sign symbolizes. And once you find that, you assess whether or not the planet and the sign are harmonious about that thing or whether they're antithetical about that thing. The dissonant resonance reveals what's complex or difficult for the native. The harmonious resonance, on the other hand, indicates what's easy, what comes natural, what's an inherent strength for the native. What I'm teaching you really is the method of how to do astrological interpretation by going down into the engine of the symbolism and comparing the parts. The actual interpretation that you should give is going to be individualized per the individual chart. So if you have person A with the moon in Scorpio and person B with the moon in Scorpio, it's not going to be exactly the same interpretation. Because person B's moon might have an aspect from something and person A moon doesn't, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But what I'm showing you in the videos is the backbone of what a planet and a sign symbolizes. And if, once you understand that backbone, you modify it based on the circumstances, the extraneous circumstances that are affecting it in an individual chart. So I hope you really like this system, not just this one video, but all the videos that we do on the planets and the signs. We'll do them all. And I hope you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of those. And I hope to see you around soon. Thank you.